Okay, we're back. Josh here. We're going to go over the Mira series of tents next. This is a Mira 2 that Ted has. And the idea behind the Mira is that, sure, we like to be comfortable, but even comfortable people like to go lightweight. And this tent definitely gets you there. As you can see, it does have the organizer sleeve here. So you have a separate compartments for your poles, your stakes, your repair kit, everything to keep you organized. So that's a really nice feature. And you'll find that on all X-Bed tents. Color-coded poles, these are going to kind of come in handy later because all of the corresponding sleeves that they go in are color-coded as well, so it makes it really easy to set up. Even somebody like me can figure this out, everybody, so definitely makes for a good setup. Uh, they're all different length poles as well, so that helps differentiate them all. So, Ted is going to go ahead and get this started. Just to point this out, this is a sub-four-pound tent, so I think you're going to see once it gets put up, it's very spacious for that weight. Um, definitely a really livable tent to use for a three-season usage. First pole is going in right now. Continuous pole sleeves, you'll notice, that we use on these tents, so it makes it really easy to put the pole in, but it also gives it nice, even tension all throughout the tent, which helps give it a lot of that spaciousness that you're going to see momentarily. Again, this is the two-person version. It also comes in a one-person version, the Mira 1, and also a three-person, the Mira 3. So you have a lot of options here, all lightweight, all very compact. So, Ted is flying. We already have two poles in, and the third one is about ready to deploy. Let's move over here so you can see what's going on. And he goes ahead and puts that into the sleeve and then tensions it off on the top. And that's it, everybody. The tent is up. You'll notice that we do have this one smaller arc pole down here at the bottom. This not only gives the tent additional stability, but it also helps keep the fabric off of your face, which is always a nice thing to have a little bit more headroom um, to uh, be able to work with overnight. Now, Ted's going to go ahead and throw some stakes down to maximize the volume here. Obviously, you don't have to stake it out. It is a freestanding tent, but by staking it out, you do have a bit more room to work with. So. We're going to go ahead and do that to show you guys how it works. Puts that stake in there. And the next. And that tent is up and ready to go. Just going to pull out a little bit here so you can see it one more time. Mira 2. Thanks, Ted.